Online use in the classroom is, is something that, that's reasonably regularly debated and, and, and there are significant and, and huge advances forward in, in sort of apps and software and, and opportunities within the classroom to, to improve teaching and learning and, and to deepen students' understanding of concepts and, um, and, and bring something extra to the, to, to the classroom and something that they wouldn't necessarily in the past have been able to, to get to. Whilst you know, the internet brings fantastic opportunities for everybody, it does need to be treated very, very carefully and ensure that children know how to use it effectively. From speaking to colleagues in, in the profession and also from my own experience, parents are clearly concerned about um, amount of phone usage and, and how phones and the internet does monopolise the time of, of, of their children and young people. They are the generation who are sort of growing up with, with the internet. They are the, the generation for whom um, the internet has never not been a thing. Consequently, there are times and, 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 and apps and opportunities on the internet where, where children are actually one step ahead of the game in terms of being in front of their teachers or being in front of their parents and being in front of, of, of adults. But in terms of time for socialising and actually traditional sort of family time and round the table and having conversations and um, eye contact and those sort of soft skills that perhaps are interview skills, parents are concerned that children don't necessarily get the opportunity to do that because a lot of the time is spent staring at an app or a phone. Other concerns that parents do report are around online bullying and, and how easy that is to do, both of children who are victims of it, but also parents who have access to their phones, they'll sort of call school and say, I'm aware that my child is doing this, you know, can we get some support with it, can we get help with it? And I think at all levels, it's about where parents have concerns, they need to make sure they tell the school, and then we can triangulate sort of a response between parents and home. Our school policy around uh, keeping children safe online isn't just one bolt on it, isn't just a, a piece of paper that exists on the website that, that um, is there because it has to be there. It's something that actually lives and breathes through the values that we, we have as, a, as an academy. Any opportunity to, to have that positive, open, constructive debate and conversation and actually talk about those positive messages and positive values of how the internet can be used, but similarly the risks that are inherent within that. But also it's, our, our policy certainly doesn't shy away from making it clear that actually what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable will be will be sort of followed through on. So everything that goes wrong is an opportunity to do something right, isn't it? And, and where opportunities are available within assemblies to, to get those positive messages across, and sometimes using sort of social stories to get that message across is really important. It's easy for children to sit and say, well, it won't happen to me, but actually, other people have said that and it happens to them and it does happen to real people that these terrible things unfortunately do happen. We don't allow mobile phones in the school um, where they are seen, they are confiscated until the end of the day uh, and the children sort of pick them up at the end of the day. Within a classroom aspect, we as a school do not see the need to bring in mobile phone technology to that as yet. My top three tips to parents to help them play an active role in their child's digital life would be firstly having access to um, your child's platform and, and using that positively and using it to not to snoop but to, to check and to safeguard and to, to ensure that your child is absolutely safe going forward. What's really important that, is that parents don't overreact and parents speak to their children about it, but similarly speak to the school and whether your child is the perpetrator and the, the person who's been unpleasant or unkind online, or whether your, your child's the victim of this, it's about reporting it through the right channels and, and going through the, um, the channels within that particular platform. And the third tip, I would say is, is work with your child's school. Um, whatever your child's school policy on, on the internet and, and use of phones uh, or use of positive use of the internet may be, it's really important that schools and parents work together. Everybody wants to safeguard children, everybody wants to keep them safe online and it's about working together and only by working together to keep children safe online will we absolutely do that.